Let's jump back into our Town Hall 2 Let's Play. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and I'm back with another Let's Play for my Town Hall 2, guys. That's right, Town Hall 2. We're starting from the beginning and it's been a ton of fun. So much fun that I just want to log in every day and do some recordings with you guys because I did make the promise that any upgrades that I do here in the village, I would have done and show you in a video and today we're focusing in on these storages as you can see there's less than four minutes no less than five minutes left on those upgrades and the reason that we need these guys are because we are just filling up on resources too quickly and because i'm waiting to upgrade things with you guys in videos i'm just wasting loot so i want to have the storages large enough to hold tons of loot so i can save it for upgrades with you guys if you like clash of clans casual fun stuff like this or in-depth strategy guides you should subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell because i have all that stuff here for you guys every single day so i want you guys to hang out here with me so in three minutes and 50 seconds we're gonna have level two gold storage and a level two elixir storage so while we wait guys why don't we look at my first ever three-star attack here at Town Hall 2. The first one is only happening one time, and that's now you're gonna get to see it. So on this attack, guys, I went in with the Giants and the Archers. I'm using the Giants to tank the defensive units, and I'm sending the Archers in behind to take out the units or those defenses as the defenses are targeting the Giants. Remember, the Giants are only gonna go and attack defensive formation, so they're gonna go after the cannons and they're gonna go after the archer towers. The archers, they'll go after anything. So as you can see right here, the giants, they're now moving towards the next defensive unit, which is that cannon, and I drop these archers in on the back end right there. Now that the cannon is targeting the giants, the archers are able to take out the cannon from behind, and once that's done, the Giants will now target anything on the base. There's a ton of troops that are going to do this in the game as you progress. Some of those include balloons or hog riders or Giants. So as they go on through, they take out all the defenses. Now they can transition over and they can take out anything that's in their way. And it's going to take them a minute and 30 seconds or so to take down the rest of this base. But as you can see, Archers are targeting everything. Giants now targeting targeting everything since the defenses are gone. I think, guys, this is probably one of the best ways to farm up and to attack these bases at Town Hall 2. Remember, these are level 1 units because there's no lab available to upgrade them to level 2, and my barracks is still level 1, so I can only bring 20 camp space worth of units. That's 3 giants and 5 archers, or 2 giants and 10 archers, or you could mix barbarians in there as well with the archers. So you don't have a ton of power to take on these attacks. So to pull in a three star, you have to kind of think about what you're doing. You don't want your units to be taken down. If a defense takes down a few archers or a few barbarians, the giants and the rest of the troops are not gonna be enough to take down the base in time. Speaking of time, let's double time through the rest of this. We can so there it is, the first ever three star in Clash of Clans on this account for me. Right now, guys, a huge moment is coming inside of Clash of Clans, and I get the feeling my editor is going to make it look epic when these are done. Let's see. Bam. We got one achievement right there, and in five seconds, another one is on its way. What's going to happen here, guys? Level seven, leveling up. Let's go. And the, uh, the storages now can hold 4,000 of each. 4,000 elixir, 4,000 gold, production 400 per hour, 800 per hour, and that's because my my pumps, they've been upgraded. My mines have not been upgraded. They're still the same. So I think it's kind of important, guys, that we get the camp done. It's gonna allow me to bring more firepower to the battles, but I don't have the resources, which means we should go out and attack a base, try and gain some loot and see what we can do. But before we do, I wanna show you a tip that I just found in this game. Recently, in Clash of Clans, we've had these new events coming to the game. And as you can see right here, Town Hall Wrecking was today's event. I completed this event. I took down five Town Halls today in this game as I was farming up the base. Now, I got myself the 400 XP points, which upgraded my account. But the Book of Heroes, 
I can't use that. I have no clan castle to hold it. I have no heroes to upgrade. So why would I want to complete this challenge? Just for the XP? No, guys. I believe, and I need to go back to my last video and confirm my gem count, but a book of heroes is worth 50 gems if I were to sell it as I would collect it. Since I can't collect it because I don't have the clan castle, my question is this. Do I get the 50 gems for completing this challenge since I can't get the book of heroes? If I can, and I believe that's the answer here, I will be able to get so many gems on this account and that's gonna keep me being a free-to-play player. I'm gonna be able to get the third, fourth, and fifth builder without having to spend any money. And I remember in my old account, we I had to spend money to get a builder because I just couldn't wait long enough or get enough gems to be able to purchase that builder free. This base here has some decent loot, and let's be honest, it's not built very well here, guys. So what I'm going to do is send in a bunch of units and try and take this thing down. Now, things are spread out. We know that I need, and this is my problem. I only have three giants. Take that back, I only have two giants, so I gotta use them properly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with both of the giants right here and two archers. I'm gonna try and take down this archer tower, then the giants are gonna walk across the base and I'll send the barbarians in from the back end while the cannons are targeting the giants. That's the plan, let's see if it actually goes to plan. The archers are now gonna start working on that town hall. So I'm gonna do this, as soon as the, there we go, we're gonna go with all of those right here, and all of these right here. Let's hope that they can take that cannon down, and then they travel to the next cannon. A couple of them did, and that's a good thing. Those barbarians are on the cannons, and the giant with the smallest amount of health is not being targeted. So we're gonna see a successful raid right here, guys, with two giants to spare, and all of the rest of the troops. No troops went down on this one. Probably should have saved something for the builder's hut, and this gold mine but really i just want to get down the town hall but i really want to get that loot because when i get the loot i could do the upgrades and that's what this is all about upgrading this village There's a 100% perfect attack right there at Town Hall 2, pulling in some decent loot. Now let's see what we could do on the upgrade tip right here, guys. We don't have enough to do this, this camp, and I think the camp is something really important. Now I could upgrade the storages again, taking 30 minutes. The camp is an upgrade that's gonna take an hour. I think what I need to do, guys, is we need to do another attack. We need to get in there, do a second one. Let's train up some troops. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now this base right here, guys, is basically the mother load completely filled up. Again, the two giants is just a tad bit weak though and could be a problem as I try and get down these defenses. So I'm gonna go with two of the giants. I'm gonna go with one archer, two archers. No, the archer targeted the wrong thing right there actually. And I guess we need to, we need to get these barbarians on these defenses when the giants get their way over there. One giant is left working on this cannon right here. All right, the cannon's gonna go down. That worked out well. Now the giant is gonna run himself over. We're gonna go with these barbarians right here. Trying to take down these defenses, and then I'm gonna put these over here. Even if I don't pull in the three star, which I don't believe I'm going to, I will be able to get the resources out of the base, and that's what we're trying to do. We do have a bunch of barbarians, though, on top of this cannon, and it looks like we're gonna be able to take the cannon down, so it looks like we are gonna get more loot, possibly the town hall but we have three barbarians and only two, no, three barbarians, three archers working on the base right now, guys. So we're gonna gain all the loot out of the base, although the town hall will probably be holding a little bit of loot on its own. A minute and 15 seconds. We could pull in the three star right here, guys. I hope this is looking epic for you, and I hope my editor is doing a lot of work right here to make this look even more epic than it should. And uh, much love to my editor. He makes everything look awesome. 
going against the barracks the town hall is being targeted by one archer one barbarian now mind you if you don't know this guys certain structures have more hit points than others camps they don't have many barbarian huts they don't have many hit points either town hall has a ton of hit points and so do resource storages is there a gold there is a gold storage over here that i didn't even see oh my goodness that's a fail right there, guys. Will they be able to get themselves over? Will one archer make its way to the gold storage? I believe we got two archers going to the gold storage. Can they at least grab a bunch of the loot out of it? The barbarian hut's most likely going to go down. We're not going to get the three star because that gold mine was hiding on me. I didn't even see it over there. But we're going to get at least 200 of that gold out of it. Pretty solid raid. We filled up on gold. Got up to 3,000 elixir. The first thing that we're going to do here, guys, is the camp. They're, we're going to get this one down. In an hour, it's going to be done. But you're going to see the process starting. And we're going to start it right now. There we go. In one hour, we're going to be able to train up 10 more troops. I guess we're going to buy some wall right here. And right here. Bam, that's going to take me down to 2,000. And now I can go and upgrade the elixir storage to level 3. It's going to take 30 minutes. It's going to be three of those little globes. Bam, it's down. And what we have working right now, guys, is the camp in one hour and the elixir storage in 30 minutes. You guys can help by commenting below, throwing a like on the video, and sharing this via the social networks to your friends, family, and even your pets. That's been it for today, guys. Thank you so much for supporting and being here with me. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see all of you back here later on today with another video. Until then, be good.